Right, I'm throwing um, small tumblers while I talk about this. Um, but this video is basically going to be a quick-ish recap of everything that I've learned from the recent uh, situation with the companies stealing my footage to sell car dent pullers. So, if this is the first you've heard of it, there's a previous video that kind of explains it a little bit better, but essentially what happened was um, people started telling me that they'd seen my footage in an advert on Facebook and asking if I was anything to do with it, if I knew about it, which I didn't. Um, and what happened is there was a company that have, uh, turns out they've got more than one website, who are running Facebook ads to sell cheap, um, a complete random mix of cheap things. And my best guess is that essentially what they're doing is they're drop shipping, which is where the the, person, the retailer doesn't actually carry the stock it's sent from somewhere else. Um, so I'd imagine they're drop shipping from China and a factory in China has given them a list of um, things that it makes and they're just trying to sell whatever they can sell. And so they'd obviously seen, because they sell car dent pullers as car dent pullers, but they'd seen um, presumably some, probably my videos uh, but something had tipped them off to the fact that they could sell the car dent pullers they were already selling but market them to a different audience. All of which is fine. The, the point at which it becomes uh, illegal and problematic is that they were using my footage to do it without my permission. Um, and then over the past two weeks I've essentially been playing whack-a-mole with them. Um, so, what I so that's what happened, um, and then sort of a chronology of what I then did is the first thing I did was I looked at the website that was selling them, and very cleverly it turns out they put a, a DMCA um, copyright report thing on their website, which. For those of you that haven't encountered it before, um, I think there's a really long Tom Scott video on it, um, which I watched years ago. So this knowledge is somewhat secondhand and out of date and possibly misremembered, but it stands for Digital... Oh, I can't remember. Digital Something Copyright Act, or something like that. But um, basically, as I understand it, it's a way of platforms like Facebook and Instagram and other websites to rather than being liable for the content that's posted on them, they agree to remove any copyrighted copyright infringements that are reported to them. Uh, and so long as they get rid of them quickly, then they don't need to worry about copyright infringement. All they need to do is respond to reports. So essentially, um, I, as a content creator, if I see my um, copyrighted work and anything you produce automatically has a copyright, which is different from a trademark. A trademark is a lot of effort and cost to get, but you automatically get copyright on anything you produce that counts as original work. Um, so if I see anyone infringing on my copyright, um, which from my point of view is generally them just taking my content and using it without permission, um, I can report them. And all of the platforms have uh, a system set up, or all the platforms I've ever looked at needed to run it on, have a system set up that's generally quite painless where you say, this is the work that's copying my content, here's my content to show that it's me, and then you swear that you're telling the truth and sign it and tell them who you are, and you're done. So what happened was the, the website that was selling the car templar had a copyright form that looked 
vaguely legit. Um, but they have no interest in taking stuff down. What they are trying to get you to do is report to them rather than the domain who will actually do something. So, sneaky on their part, but it became immediately apparent when the response that I got to the, um, the report was, we're sorry, but can we carry on using your footage, essentially. Um, and when I said no, they didn't reply and carried on using my footage. So, um, the important thing here is that firstly, you can report anything to Instagram and Facebook. They have systems set up. They're very quick to respond. But if you're ever in a situation like this, the thing that is by far and away the most effective, because um, you can get individual adverts removed from Instagram and Facebook, but they can run 100 different variations and you need to report, well, I'm a little unsure about this because in theory you can go to the ad center, find all versions of an ad campaign and report all of them at once. That didn't work for me. Um, I couldn't, I could load the account that was listing them but I couldn't see those adverts, I could only see other adverts. So I'm not quite sure. Um, but my experience was that you couldn't report all the adverts at once. So you can report individual adverts, Facebook, and Instagram, which is still Facebook, um, will take them down within a matter of hours with no quibbling. Very easy to do. If you have um, all the links to your content saved, you can kind of do it in probably 60 seconds to do a report, and you can report multiple adverts. Um, but obviously, it is a bit whack a mole if you're waiting for the adverts to pop up and people to send them to you because you can't search for them, you have to they have to appear as adverts before you can find them. Um, other than the ad center, if you can get that to work, it probably is a different thing altogether. Um, but the important thing is that they are using a shop platform. Now this might be impossible if they have their own website and they're using a bespoke shop platform. I don't know what you do in that situation. But most people who are running an online shop like this, so this only applies to people that have their own website and have your infringed uh, copyrighted material on their website. Chances are, especially if they have a shop, they're using one of the platforms like Squarespace or in this case Shopify and um, you can tell I don't know how I haven't actually checked with my website which is Squarespace but with Shopify if you view the um, location of an image so you right click on an image and just view it uh, in the domain for the image it will say Shopify because all the images are stored on kind of the Shopify server essentially and the URL points to Shopify. So all you do is right click on an image and view the image. But I'd imagine if you did a little bit of digging any website through any of those domains, even if it's not quite that easy to spot it, will have something to indicate which platform they're using and they will all have a report button. Very easy, you just Google the platform and DMCA and you will be taken to a page where you can report stuff. You need the link to your copyrighted material and the link to the shop. And my experience that Shopify would take the page down essentially that work the next working day if not before. So the first time I did it, I, I did it in the morning, they took it down in the evening. Next time I did it, unfortunately, was a Saturday morning and they didn't take it down until Monday lunchtime. So the company got <coughs> a few more days worth of selling stuff, but that was it. So um, taking down the adverts, not really a priority, um, just because there's so many of them 
and at the end of the day they can if Instagram and Facebook aren't gonna limit the account for repeat infringements then you're just chasing after them but if you can take the page off their shop entirely quite quickly then now they're running ad campaigns uh, but they can't sell a product so that I did that to them they disappeared for a week uh, reappeared with a different domain so they obviously have a couple because it's exactly the same content and um, formatting slightly different on the website but they're selling the same products um, and the content the way they're using my content and regenerating things is the same so it's obviously a team of people running a bunch of these dropshipping websites which makes sense because once you set one up it sort of presumably ticks over in the background a bit um, so you might as well do other ones so it looks like it's an entirely different company fine whatever I don't know how many more they've got the good thing is that it seems to have stuck this time because I am now getting reports from other potters saying that these dropshippers are getting in touch with them asking them to make the videos that they stole from me. So essentially what's going to happen is that very soon the people that I've had to interact with that have stolen my content will have their own not copyright infringed content and at that point they will be able to sell with absolute impunity. There's nothing illegal in any other part of what they're doing. I still think there's something immoral in it, in that they're selling a car, don't pull a, they're selling a bad one and they're not explaining how it's going to work. So more or less everyone that buys one and doesn't see something else on the subject, like one of my videos explaining how to use it, um, will just, the pots will fall off into the glaze bucket. It's a very frustrating thing when that happens, which does happen very infrequently if you do it properly um, but there we having it happen every time or as has happened to me before it will slide off not into a glazed bucket and break so unfortunately for the people that have seen the advert and bought one um, they're not going to get a great uh, car dent puller and they're not going to get the explanation of how to use it but that's fine if they end up stumbling upon the how to video then hopefully that will help at the very least. Um, but it does mean you're probably going to start seeing, if you're a pottery enthusiast and on a social media platform, you're probably going to start seeing more adverts with someone else's footage quite soon. And it won't be mine and there's absolutely nothing that I can do or really should because at the end of the day um, I can disagree with what they're doing. but. Um, once they stop doing the copyright infringement part, they're free to carry on. So basically, the, the takeaway is that if you're um, in a similar situation and someone has stolen your content and is using it on a shop to sell stuff, don't engage with them or do, you feel free to, to start there. And no harm in sending them an email and saying, you shouldn't be using my footage or pictures but realistically anyone that um, has already stolen your pictures and footage probably doesn't care that you're not happy about it so the best thing to do is go to that platform who will be quite prompt probably in taking that page off their shop or at the very least removing all the um, the, the content but in the case of Shopify, they remove the page entirely from the website. So all the adverts that they're running that are linking to that page are now sending to a broken link with no shop and no ability to sell it. Um, which is a very speedy way that doesn't cost you anything of um, hitting them where it hurts and making it not worth their while carrying on it's probably going to happen again at some point but um, 
with any luck it won't happen to any of you but if it does that is what I found worked um, the good thing is the DMCA takedowns are generally good so actually the systems in place to make this as painless as possible do actually make it relatively painless uh, still frustrating the nice thing with all of this is that I'm obviously well recognized enough that um, people have been telling me when these things pop up and it's sort of a, in a way a double-edged sword because some people are thinking initially that I endorse this product but I think most people who know me well enough to recognize me from kind of this setup and the content that I make know that well, they know that I've got a recommended tools page and that's where I recommend things and the real giveaway is that um, they were using the footage and didn't mention that it was me. Um, so they were being sneaky about it and unfortunately for them they're targeting exactly the people who would recognise me. But um, yeah, I don't know if that will be true for everyone that this happens to so that even more so makes the going to the website to get it taken down from the website rather than chasing after the adverts a better strategy just because you can have a hundred adverts but they're all going to point to the same website um, and so getting that website change is much easier than getting the adverts removed individually uh, but thank you to everyone who has linked me to one of the adverts. If nothing else, I like to think it frustrated them for a while that every time an advert would go up, it would get immediately sent to me and I'd get it taken back down again. Um, in the long term, not a great strategy, but um, I appreciate being told and it did help. I think it, if nothing else, it, definitely between the two things, that will have helped convince them that it wasn't worth the effort um, and I really appreciate all the backup I've had with this because it is frustrating but significantly less so when you don't feel like they've got the power this so was never going to end particularly well for them just because everyone was helping me out rather than buying from them because it was convenient so Thank you to everyone who got stuck in um, and hopefully this will be the last you hear of it um, but as I say you might well see uh, a legally acceptable version of their advert pop up on one of your social media platforms soon. Uh, don't buy their car dent puller because it's rubbish and they're charging more for it than you'd pay if you go to Amazon. So if you want a cheap one go to Amazon buy a cheap one. If you want one that I stand behind, it's the Gunson Mini. There's a link on my recommended tools page. I'll post one below as well. Um, doesn't have to be that one. I just know that one works. So that's the one I recommend. But I'm sure some any good car dent puller will work. Um, and if you're looking at one that's a sensible price and has good reviews, go for it. Because I know that one, Some the price varies in America. Sometimes it's quite expensive. Um, but yeah, so hopefully anyone in a similar situation this is useful or there's something here of use uh, and if not, sorry about that.